new at 5.30, a woman says for years she had a headache every day. And at first, she thought it was from allergies or tension. But after several trips to the ER, she found it actually had to do with the structure of her skull. Now she wants to help others. News 6 Morning Anchor Kirsten O'Connor tells us about the plan she has in the works, and it's getting results for your health. When mine gets really bad, I can feel my heartbeat pounding in my temples. Janiah Dare can't remember a day of her life without headaches. Without any pain medicine at all, um, I, don't, I can't even imagine. Doctors often blamed allergies or tension. She even had sinus surgery to try and find a solution, but the pain only got worse. I was barely functioning. I was on some very strong pain medicines and was still in and out of the emergency room for really bad headaches. It was after one of those trips to the ER that a CT scan revealed a problem with the structure of her skull. Doctors diagnosed her with Chiari malformation and scheduled surgery two weeks later. Complications after surgery caused a leak of cerebrospinal fluid that took five years and 17 surgeries to fix. I spent 18 years of my life on narcotic pain meds. The surgeries forced Janai to take a medical leave of absence from veterinary school and declare bankruptcy. I had given up on my dream of ever being a veterinarian. I'd given up on my dream of ever getting married or being a mom. Then, in 2003, Janai met her husband, Aaron, and took back her dream of becoming a mom. You had testing done, but did you know if Chiari was hereditary? The research had shown that there's a one in four chance that, um, that you'll pass it on if you have it. So we knew there was a chance. Her first child started showing signs of Chiari at five years old. It was a very classic Chiari headache. Um, he would laugh too hard and um, then say, oh, my head hurts. Janai says both her first and second son have Chiari. For now, they can be treated with Tylenol and she hopes to delay surgeries until research leads to advanced procedures. And I hope that more surgeons become aware of it and of all the complexities of Chiari so that people don't have to travel far to find a specialist who understands. But the topic of Chiari still remains a mystery for many, and that is why she's inviting all of Central Florida out here to the Northwest Recreation Complex for Walk and Roll for a Cure on Saturday, September 28th. In Apopka, Kirsten O'Connor, Getting Results, News 6.